Guten Tag everybody, it's Pixelated Apollo, thanks for stopping by, and today we're playing some Rome Total War, good old classic Rome Total War, one of the greatest Total Wars ever made. Uh, I wanted to make this intro just to explain a couple things before the video starts. So me and Biscuits Total War, we came together and did some co-commentary on two battles, both battles we played in as a team. Uh, one is a rematch, so keep in mind that there's going to be two videos. And also, for whatever reason, this game does not run well on my computer. It just does not like to play nice with my more modern uh, hardware, which is really tragic because this game is so amazing, and it's getting to the point where it's it's getting so old that it's not running well on more modern computers. So, I don't know. Maybe there's some setting I have to change or something, but I was getting like 12 frames per second. But I, I hope you can still enjoy the video, some fantastic commentary, and also guys, be sure to check out Biscuits Total War's channel. He's featured on my channel, and of course, I'll always have a link in the description. So, at this point, enjoy guys! Hey guys, welcome back to Biscuits Total War. This is Biscuits giving you another online commentary for the fabulous Rome Total War. And to make it even special today, we've been joined by Pixelated Apollo. How are you doing, mate? Hello, I am good. The very fabulous Rome Total War. Classic game. I love this game. Uh, this was the first Total War I started off on. So, uh, yeah. Bring, it, bring me back. The first and the best, of course. <laughs> of and course. I'm absolutely amazed that you've taken part in this because I'm sure you guys know already Pixelated Apollo runs his own channel where it's pretty much focusing on Medieval 2. That is the core of his game. Yes. So I'm absolutely surprised when you uh, suggested joining me on a Rome Total to War match. So uh, congrats. <laughs> Big thank you. <laughs> Yeah, you've, now, you've seen the light, my friend. You've seen the light. Yeah, so yeah. You come onto the dark side and join us <laughs> with Rome Total to the Wall. I'm just gonna uninstall Medieval Two right now and just every new channel, Rome One, Siege Battles. So I'm sure my uh, subscribers won't mind whatsoever. I'm, I'm sure they won't. They're probably you might even grow your fan base by another probably. five thousand. <laughs> Who knows? But we the rules are today, as always, it's 31k rules. So. Uh, this is the first time I think you've played 31k rules, is that right? Uh, probably. I yeah, think so, so um, if we have a quick look at our builds, we've gone for really standard builds. It's pretty much a 6 Praetorian Cav, 14 Urbans. I've got an extra Arch unit there just to try and help us because we're going to go against the Pike faction and the Romans. Um, if we have a look at your, your army pixelated Apollo, I didn't want to mention this when we played this live a few moments ago. But you have made a bit of a blunder. You've put your general in the front of your army. Oh my god. That I can't believe I did that. I, I see that. There he is, looking looking glorious. He's just I mean, a, you know, he's like, you know what guys? I'm gonna be in the front lines to be a meat shield. That's how much I love my army. <laughs> gotta respect <laughs> Ex that. Exactly. I'm sure like in medieval two you stick a little um meat shield or some basic pike units don't you to prevent cav charges and stuff like that yeah. or uh, early so yeah this guy's got big balls big cojones yeah. he's standing there he's saying guys no come on if i can do this then you can do it <laughs> so yeah oh, what a general what a yeah. badass he wants that a guy glorious is. death so well hopefully he doesn't get it but we're, we'll see <laughs> we'll soon find out now, the guys that we're going to be playing up against, uh, we're playing up against a guy called Robertus Augustus Babu. I think that's how you pronounce his name. He's actually taken part in a few of my videos prior to this one, so I don't know if it's just fate, but every time I'm online, he's online as well, and he's brought the Macedonians. We have a quick little glance at his army. It's four companion cav, two Cretans, and therefore that's going to look like mental arithmetic, 15 roll pikes. Uh, so... Nice little build there. Yeah, it's, um, it's Macedon looks really, really cool. Gotta love the yeah. pikes. Yeah, it's always cool. It makes a difference from getting loads and loads of urban cohorts. And then if you have a quick glance at the next guy who's joining him, he's from the MA clan. I'm not entirely sure who the MA clan is, but his name is Eos, and he's gone for your standard Rome Total War formation of six Praetorian Cav and 14 urban. So basically, 
mirroring pretty much what you've got at the moment right. uh, pixelated. So what was your, your thoughts when you uh, kick-started this? Oh, geez. Uh, I was way out of my element. Uh, I forgot to change my settings because usually I play on the WASD keys, and this was on the arrow keys, so I was kind of just all over the place. So, uh, yeah, I was excited. I Coming back to this game, hearing the music, seeing the little videos and the general speeches, it's, it's nice to come back, and I'm definitely thinking about playing some more of this. So, it needs to be done. Yeah, definitely. Bring some Rome Tour to War into your channel. I'd yeah. love to see that. So, without further ado, should we uh, kickstart this uh, replay? Should yeah. we click play? Yeah. So, if I count it down, one, two, and then three. Yeah, sounds good. So, one, two, three, go. There we go. All right. So, right. So, going to kickstart this. We're going to... What we're gonna do? I can't remember what we did. You that were you were just charging like crazy, man. I was like, oh god, I just gotta keep up. <laughs> it's like playing a video game with your dad. You know, it's like, dad, what are you doing? What are you just taking <laughs> your time? It's like, hang on, son, let me just get my <laughs> get my army to formation. No, you you double click. No, do this. No. <laughs> <laughs> Which right. button? The right button? The right? Left button? Oh yeah. yeah. I'm just charging past your guys, but your general is still adamant. He's gonna stay in the front because. You know he's got big so, balls that yeah. guy he's got to lead the charge so yeah if you if you notice my army is just all over the place i'm just trying to like control my army this was going to be rough i was like oh god i just don't want to let the team down yeah they're just kind of chilling out the spqr just watching the skippy i run past <laughs> them thinking let them go you know first. what let them do the killing let them die we're just kind of we'll we'll sit back a bit we'll take the glory <laughs> exactly so if we have a little glance at the, the Julii player, the Red Roman, I can see exactly the formation he's pulled off. He's got one unit in front, which usually indicates he's going to jump into Testudo to try and prevent me doing lots of peeler strikes into okay. his front unit. It's like a defensive stance there. Exactly. So what I'm going to try and do to nullify that, I'm going to swing my army to around the flank. I do make a bit of a pig's ear of this, and you'll see it in a second, where I get my guys up. Oh, can't believe I made a mistake. I've chucked one volley of peeler into that Testudo unit, so I've wasted a, uh, a volley there already. And whilst I'm running my guys around the side, they're going to get snagged up on his peeler screen. Oh. That's the loose formation unit. And I'm just getting absolutely plastered by all of this uh, yeah. peeler. Meanwhile, so, I'm, I'm way in the back, just, you know, trying to figure out how to march my army over there. Yeah, um, you know, just thinking, which button do I press? <laughs> Where do I go? <laughs> So, uh, yeah, whilst I'm getting obliterated by the pilot and uh, one of my units have already routed, Pixelated Apollo is just kind of chilling out. He's taking his time. <laughs> Don't want to rush. There's no point in rushing things. Yeah. Taking it seriously easy. Um, so I've got my guys into a decent formation. Then I was going to chuck in some peeler and get my revenge on these uh, Julia units. But Julia have now pulled away from me. So I need to try and chase them down. And in the meantime, pixelated Apollo, what are you up to, man? What? Oh my God! What? What am I up to? I have no idea. I saw Macedon is charging right for me, so I'm like, no, I need to get out of there because I don't want to face his pikes. And I was, I was a little worried because I felt like he was really confident, and I didn't know what I was doing. So I was like, you know, just disengage, just wait, and I'm just trying to support you on whatever you're doing. I've got my calf behind your army, just kind of waiting for the command to. Do whatever you need me to do. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've now swung our guys around, and now I think what they've seen, they yeah, see look at you've this. got no cav supporting you, so they're going to charge in all of these Praetorian cav to try and strike your infantry because your infantry is all over the place. And <laughs> I'm pretty looking sure the wrong you're, way. <laughs> you're happy to admit that you're facing the wrong way. You know, I don't know. I've even lost track where your general is. Oh no, your general is right still in the front. In the front <laughs> <laughs> He's facing the right way, so. Yeah. Basically, in comes the, the Julia, in comes all of the uh, Praetorian cohorts. They're trying to charge straight into you guys, but they haven't done a really successful charge, no. which gives you a chance to try and encircle these units now. Yeah. And now we're going to charge my infantry, got my Praetorian cav. Everyone's going to charge into this cluster, and that's kind of a, a big no no when it comes to Rome Total War and Medieval and all the other games. You don't want to cluster up your guys into right. a blob, which is going on here. Yeah, this um, was like a, a trap by accident. Like, the fact that I was so slow, he charged me and you were behind him, so we could really just close the jaws on him. 
and he is completely surrounded. His troops are already breaking. He's trying to escape his cav over there, but overall, this has been a huge success for us. And yeah, the, you've got units routing. I was thinking, Christ, we're actually going to get a victory here for some reason. I actually <laughs> thought we were going to lose this hands down. Yeah, um, me too. But, but yeah, I'm pleasantly surprised here. You know, pixelated Apollo, you know, he's pulled up his socks. He's got his game face on. Yeah. You know, he's not taking any prisoners. He's going to slaughter the Julii. And these poor guys have just been absolutely buggered. They've been left. They've got the Scipii, they've got the Senate. They're just out for revenge, and there's nothing that these Julii can do apart from, unfortunately, yeah. slow, painful death. Yes, tragic for them. And Macedon is trying to quickly get over there and support him, but he's a little too late, and he, he's blobbing up his forces as well. So this was looking pretty good for us right now. So at this stage, the Julii are pretty much taken up. They have got a few Praetorian cav units left. Uh, but what we need to try and do is pull our infantry out now. We need to try and get into a decent formation because we've got the, the upper advantage at the moment. Um, you know, Julia have been taken out. Macedonians, they can't play aggressively because they need that Romans there to support them. And in the back, if we just have a look where a general is, you know, he's leading by, um, <laughs> leading literally on the flank here. He's chucking out volleys of Pila. He's destroying these uh, Royal Pikes doing really 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 good there at the moment um so at this stage apollo you know what were your thoughts what were you thinking at the moment oh man i was happy i was like oh hell yeah this is this is perfect i was talking to him, earlier i was talking to you like live during this battle saying how we trapped them in and i can't believe it worked and it was unintentional because i was so slow but anyways i i, I I was pretty confident that we were going to win this and all we had to do is destroy these pikes and it'd be game over so uh, i'm trying that. to remember what happens to your general because your general is now in a bit of a sandwich he's got macedonian pikes the back of him he's got macedonian pikes the front of him <laughs> but he's still standing in there you know he's still he's, waving that banner he's a badass yeah i i had no control of him. i was like retreat man and he just was in there fighting off the pikes Ridiculous. I said, that. I'm not retreating, man. I lead the battle from the front. I'm going to destroy these Macedonians. Even if you don't want me to, I'm going to kill them. Um, so in the meantime, the I've pulled praised. my guys back out. I'm the thinking, right, pull dead. my guys out. I've got His plenty of peeler left over. Because I haven't really managed to engage too many units of my peeler. And then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to chuck the peeler into the back of these Macedonians and try and get a few cheeky kills. And I think yeah. that's basically what I advise you to do as well. To yeah. try and pull your guys back. Let loose the peeler and let that do the damage. Let that get your kills. Um, because these poor Macedonians, there's very little they can do apart from just play defensively. Yeah, uh, they can't so. really bring the attack to us at the moment. Yeah, um, in the back here, I've got some leftover cab just running down the uh, retreating forces and the, uh, you know, the very depleted forces, archers and whatnot. So, uh, yeah, this is, this is looking to be our, our victory here. Yeah, no, those urban cohorts that you're chasing down of your cab, just absolutely mopping them up. And the poor Julii are pretty much taken out. There's only just the Macedonians, really, that are left in there. I think they've only got one urban cohort left, uh, the Julii, and that's, that's 74 men in that unit, so that's still looking pretty strong, but there's no way that yeah. that unit's going to be able to assist with all of these uh, urbans that we've got just surrounding all of these Macedonian forces. And you can see... My guys are just throwing lots and lots of peeler into these guys. These guys are being absolutely obliterated. And the other thing that Verbo's done, he's put his general in his cav. And I believe his cav, any time now, is going to get routed. Yeah. And once that's been killed, that's going to drop these morale for these pikes so quickly. And that's basically going to make it even easier for us to hopefully or bring in a nice little victory at the end of the day. Yeah, I've got my troops back here uh, throwing their pila. Uh, and over on that flank, you notice the Macedon breaking over there. And now yeah, I'm yeah. chasing down his general with my cav. And there he goes, instantly breaks. Gods be praised. And I think, I think it's safe killed. to say that that was the final nail in the coffin hearts. there. Yeah, I mean, literally, in about 10 seconds, we're going to see this Macedonian pike unit just mass route. They're getting pila from the left, pila from the right. Their general is gone. There's no reason for them to hang around on the grassy flatlands. They need to get back to Macedon, go meet Alexandra the Great, and uh, just really 
re rethink think, their re tactics. Yeah, Wrong rethink their strategy. From her generals, uh, but yeah, that was an awesome game. Uh, and victory. to be honest, at the very beginning, um, <laughs> when you're doing your little movements or your lack of movements, I was really thinking, you know, this is going to be in a slaughter. We're going to get absolutely obliterated. But just check out the kills on this scorecard. It was beginner's luck there. Complete beginner's luck. I don't know how I got so many kills, but I think it's just because... Rome just charged everything at me, so I just slaughtered them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that is pretty good. Just shy of 2,000 kills, you know, that's borderline heroic victory status you're looking at there. Uh, and that's on your first ever Rome Total War 31k rules online. And you, you're playing against experienced players at the end of the day. So really, really well played there at Pixelated Apollo. Really, uh, really taking the hat off there. <laughs> Um, well, I only got in about, what, 1,100 kills. Uh, Mastodon got in a similar amount of kills. And Julia well, got in 710 kills. Well, you you kind of like, you were in there first and you really took a lot of the, uh, you know, a lot of the um, Pila that I didn't have to worry about because cause I was in the back just trying to command my army. But uh, yeah, so it was definitely good teamwork. It was a lot of fun. And uh, yeah. So guys, I hope you enjoy that. Um, now, what we're going to do, we're going to bring you part two of this because obviously the guys that we just played, they weren't best pleased. They wanted the rematch. So in two moments or in the next video that I put up, you'll see the rematch. And again, we'll have myself and Pixel Age Apollo giving you a little commentary for that. So as always, guys, please don't forget to uh, like, subscribe, and leave a comment. And I'll put a link to Pixel Age Apollo's channel. There's a big link on my homepage to his channel please go and check it out. I'm sure you're aware of it. His channel is absolutely amazing. It puts my channel to shame. So <laughs> No, you know, no way, man. Go check it out. You'll really enjoy it, especially if you like Medieval 2. It's the place to go for Medieval 2. It's the best channel for Medieval 2, without a doubt. Oh, thank so you, Go man. check it out. Thank you so much. And uh, same thing to you, but for Rome 1, by far the best Rome 1 channel and one of the few channels that are actually continuing to to play Rome 1. So uh, if you're one of my subscribers, be sure to check out Biscuits. Awesome channel. Cheers, my friends. Anyway, let's, uh, let's finish this and we'll pick up the, the next replay on the next video. So thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll catch you guys soon, okay? Bye now. Thanks for watching.